For this tutorial, we're just going to start off with our little cross shape and we'll pop it into a duplicator grid. So for our deformer, we're going to add a push along vector. What the push along vector allows us to do is push things along a vector. It's not uh, moving the position of each individual duplicator, it's deforming them. And this is even more apparent when we come into here and we'll add some fall off and you can see they are deformed. So in this instance, we're just going to right click here and we're going to do get vector. And we are also just going to create a fall off. Okay. So in our get vector, we're going to put the fall off in. We're going to uncheck normalize. Normalize just makes things between zero and one. And in our push along vector, we're going to come into our fall offs again and pop this may uh, fall off in. Cool. So if we just increase the size of this, you can see it's all kind of blowing things apart. What we want to do is just change the strength of this here just a little bit, and then we can move it around quite nicely. So another thing you might want to do is just uh, separate these values. So in this get vector, it's just giving you the X and the Y. Uh, and there might be certain instances where you just want to uh, separate those out. So what we're going to do in this instance is we'll use a value two and channel that, channel that into there and then disconnect this and in our value two, we're just going to put that into the Y and we'll just put this down to zero. And that way it's just pushed, pushing everything up or down. And yeah, you obviously you've got the, the strength there that you can work with. Another way you can tweak this is in your fall off graph as well. There might be some instances where you need it to be a little smoother. You can just come in here and just tweak that. So this is just like a little setup that I've put together. Uh, slightly more complex than the previous one. I have added the push along vector onto my actual composition. And I've also added a add divisions. So let's just jump in and see what that looks like. In our deformers, we have add divisions first and then push along vector second. To change the order of these, you can just click and move. Okay, so the add divisions, if you click on this, click on this, you can see all the divisions that it's added. But yeah, sometimes the performance can be a bit of a hit. So if I'm just moving this around, it's all good. But if I hit play now, the frame rate, the frame rate is yeah just eight. But I've set it up with Juoco so that these divisions here drop down to seven. And yeah, it's super smooth. And you still kind of get like a general run for a uh, general idea of what's actually happening, which is pretty cool. So just to clarify, I've set my animation up in the composition. I've added the divisions. I have then done push along vector, same as before. And I've used Juoco just to toggle those. Um, toggle between those two values.